a great cab, great interior, great engine, great transmission. None of that matters if it beats you up or can't carry the weight down the road. So this week, we're gonna talk about wheels, tires, and axles. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it is Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. Thanks again for tuning back in this week. So happy to have you because we are talking about wheels, tires, axles, suspension, all the stuff that makes it so this can go down the road smoothly, which is a big part of what we want. There's some other little tips and tricks and stuff like that that Autocar has used in this that I'm pretty excited to talk about. Start up at the front, shall we? In order to get the 79,500 pound weight rating that this truck has, we have a 22,000 pound Dana front axle. Now that is separated by the frame with 10,200 pound taper leaf springs. Now the unique thing about these springs is when you look at this truck, I almost want to sing low rider because these springs are set up to be flatter to keep the front end of the truck down because we know height is always an issue that you need to look at when it comes to refuse trucks. So this is one of the lowest sitting trucks when it comes to overall height. Now to control those leaves, we actually have dual action shock absorbers on this. So many shocks that you see on trucks only control the rebound stage. This works on both the compression and rebound stages of the spring. So you get better control, you get better road holding, and you get a truck that wants to go straighter down the road for you. Not to mention, you get drivers that are happier because they're more comfortable. Speaking of making it comfortable, Bridgestone M870 wide base tires on this because we need that weight carrying capacity. And speaking of weight, we wanna make sure that we save as much weight as we can. So there's AccuRide aluminum wheels on this. Once again, save the weight and look pretty good doing it. As with all of our trucks, we've got the arrows on the lug nuts here. That way you've got a quick visual check to see if anything's coming loose. There's more stuff in the back here in terms of how that works. Let's go back there. So when I come back here, I'm actually gonna start at the front of the back, I guess is what we'll call it. We've got four air tanks here because we've got a 25.9 CFM Wabco air compressor on that Cummins engine, and we wanna make sure that it's got plenty of space to put all that air. So that's why we've got the four tanks there. You shouldn't ever be waiting for the compressor to catch up with what you need to do, pretty much no matter what you're doing. So when we come back here, we've got our rear axle set up. Now these are set up on a 54 inch spacing on the HMX 460 suspension from Hendrickson. Now that is a great rubber mounted suspension system that helps allow better articulation and a smoother ride without the truck giving that wiggly wobbly feeling too. Very stable, yet great articulation. That's pretty much everything you want out of a suspension, isn't it? Part of that articulation is for traction. We wanna make sure that you've got all four of these points on the ground firmly. In case you don't, we've actually got a locker and an interaxle disconnect on this. So that way you can lock all of these wheels together. So that way you're just not spinning one and throwing snow someplace, lock it in, and you should be able to get out without having to use those tow hooks that we mentioned in the first video. Now, inside those rears is a 538 rear axle ratio. We realize you're stop and go, stop and go, stop and go all day long, but you've also got to go someplace to get rid of what's in here. So we've got that ratio to make sure that you can do the stop and go really well, but you're not gonna kill that entire fuel tank driving to where you need to get rid of the refuse at. The lockers, the bearings, the gears, the axle shaft, those are all stuffed in Meritor 46 160 housings. Now that gives you that 46,000 pound capacity to make sure that we're gonna stay legal for this all the way up to that 79.5. On the ends of those Meritor housings, we've got, of course, AccuRide aluminum wheels again. Once again, not only for the look, but it's that weight savings that we're going for. Bridgestone M870 tires here again, just because of the fact a match set and the great traction and durability that they offer. 
Further back, we've got the tag axle because what happens when the going gets heavy? The heavy put an extra set of wheels and tires down. It is rated for 13,500 pounds and it is a steerable tag axle. So that way you're not changing your wheelbase for your turning radius. Also with it being a steerable, you're gonna have great tire life there too. We've talked about that big body before, but we're gonna give a quick overview again next week. So do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button if you've got a question about anything we've talked about so far. Make sure you put that in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. We're gonna see you next week and as always, stay safe out there.